Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's the weekend, and uh, it's kind of late. Well, not late, but late to, I guess, start of the day outside. I've already gone to the gym today, um, which is why I'm starting so late. You know, I, I can't help it. I can't not go to the gym. So I went to the gym, went home, ate, all that stuff. And then now we're going out. The time right now is two o'clock and we are going to Nanto Guchang. So Nanto, ancient city. Uh, I had a question on one of my videos asking like, why am I always wearing black? Honestly, it's just a preference. But I decided just for them, I'll wear something different. So we got a white going out, I got a white t-shirt today. Also, big thank, oh look at, see, I've would, oh I have to talk to you about that, hold on. But big thank you for 300,000 subscribers. Uh, I would like to do something a bit more special, a bit more of a heartfelt message. Maybe I'll say again later on, like thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let me just get on the metro first, hold on. Okay, so now we're back outside. Um, all right, so a few things that I wanted to mention before I ended the vid uh, video, ended the last clip. Uh, normally I wear black, but today I'm wearing white and found out I'm pretty good in white. <laughs> um, another thing, uh, I don't normally like to go out when it's hot because if you've seen enough of my eating videos, you've probably seen that I don't tend to drink much water. And it's just because I never really feel thirsty. Like I don't, I rarely have the urge to drink water. So when it starts to approach the summertime, when it's hot, when I should be drinking a lot more water because I'm sweating a lot more, I still don't get the urge to drink water. And then because of that, I end up having some pretty serious cramps. So let me tell you, okay, two stories, one, this was back in the UK. This was at Varsity, um, at university. I was playing for the rugby team, the American football team, and I did some athletics. And throughout pretty much all of the events, so it was American football and the athletics first. I did those events. Okay, nice. And then uh, we finished with rugby. Now, with the rugby, um, basically leading up to the rugby, I still didn't really drink much water. So then now, once the rugby is finished, I, oop, I ended up getting a full body cramp. When I say full body, I mean my legs, my abdominal muscles, I, my abdominal muscles, pretty much everything that you could think of cramped, like everything. So my whole body was locked up. I genuinely could not walk, right? So in the end, I had to get like, my mum and like some friends, they had to carry me into a taxi because I couldn't walk, I couldn't do anything. I was literally a plank. And then we, they put me in the taxi and <laughs> I had to lay across the whole back of the taxi because my body still wouldn't unlock. And yeah, like my, my mum was, yeah, she was crying because you know, pretty much everything was cramped. You know, it, I didn't look too good. Um, that's just me summarizing the story. Like, there's a lot more in there, but basically just know that my whole body locked up. I was a wooden plank, I couldn't move. And I was like that for, I don't even know, the whole journey back and then even having to get taken to my bedroom and put me on the bed and like force fed water until my body started to loosen up. And then the second time, this one, this one is in China. So I've had it once in China and then it just really put me off wanting to do anything in the heat. So a friend invited me out to um, like just kind of just go, I guess, explore, walk around or whatever. I thought it was maybe we'll just go to a park and we'll just chill. And yeah, just chill, drink and relax. But it ended up being this thing of kind of like going around the reservoir and doing a whole bunch of walking. And then, yeah, I was like completely unprepared for that. I didn't bring any water. Pretty much like what, maybe two hours into, into the, the walk or the hike or whatever you want to call it. I bought like 500 milliliters of water. That was it. And I'm, I'm a big person and China's hot and it's humid. So, you know, I needed way more than 500 milliliters. So when we finally finished, we went into a restaurant and we were just chilling there for a bit. And then my body started to, I guess, cool down and then everything locked up in the restaurant. We weren't even planning on buying anything in the restaurant. 
So we're in the restaurant, my body locked up, my legs locked up, and then <laughs> now the restaurant owner is rushing us to buy some stuff. We weren't really planning on buying anything, but she was like, basically, buy something or leave. So they're like, fine, 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 buy something. And then the person that I was with, um, they had to buy me water. And again, I was just sitting in the restaurant for like an hour, waiting for my body to unlock. And uh, so, yeah, I have a problem with water. So I tend not to uh, go out when it's hot because I already know I'll just forget to drink. I packed water in my bag. Hopefully I remember to drink it. Um, I'll probably show you me drinking it just to show you that I did do it. I did try just in case anything does happen. Like you can see, look, look at the shine on my forehead. I'm already sweating. It's already a, a deadly day. But all right, uh, I've been standing outside of uh, the place for a while. So let's actually go inside now. Very first impression doesn't feel very ancient to me. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I get it, you know, you're probably going to make the area a lot more touristy, but I just wasn't expecting this, you know. When you hear the name Ancient City, I don't think you'd be expecting to see so many shops, but that's just me. All right, this feels more like it. This feels more like it. It's in English at the bottom. Wait. Can you read that if you want to read it? Hold on. Give me the scroll down option like it's a game. Beep. Nice. The hairline ruins it. <laughs> I will say I'm actually kind of surprised. I did think that uh, with this being a tourist spot, I would have seen more expats. <laughs> so far, I think I'm, I've only seen zero. <laughs> I just would have thought that there would be, I guess, a few more, a few more expats. Mmm, yeah, there's a lot of restaurants, and bakeries. Um, I don't think I'll eat. I don't think I'll eat in one of these restaurants. If anything, I'll buy water here if I finish the water in my bag. And then probably, yeah, just go somewhere else outside. I just imagine everything here is just going to be a bunch of expensive stuff. So I don't really need it. Oh, oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh. Oh. Hey, 
here we go. This, this is what I'm expecting to see. More of this. Okay. better that I just drink a bunch of water now so that I don't have to worry too much or as much later on okay wait oh no okay hold on so the end has got some stuff oh okay no it just looks like all restaurants I think it is just all restaurants now oh What's going on here? Oh wait, is this is this might just be another entrance. Yeah, I think this might just be another entrance. Uh, okay, yeah, I feel like I'm moving away from the tourist area now. I feel like I'm just going into more of the local area, the homes of everyone, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely no more here. Okay. <laughs> that kid's cute. Ooh, that kid's cute. Uh, there's nothing else here. We'll go down. But that kid's cute. So, oh, I see other expats. Wow. But no, that kid is so cute because just now, uh, oh, oh, when you're Jim Yenler. But, oh, you're going now, yeah. Oh, Huija, ah. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> He's so sweet. So uh, I was just walking down the road and then obviously I heard his, uh, heard his flip flops, you know. <laughs> and I thought he was, he was going to run past me. <laughs> and then he stopped running as soon as he got next to me and he just started walking at my pace. And then I looked at him and he looked at me and then, you know, just like, yeah, you know, hi. High five. And then he just grabbed my hand and proceeds to give it multiple high fives <laughs> and then just now I turn back round oh he's <laughs> still behind me but um I turn back round and then he runs back again and then he's just walking next to me again so let's see what we're gonna eat oh <laughs> All right. Oh. So I don't know. The top one, top thing to get is Shanghai noodles. <laughs> so I think I'll get this because it's the number one recommended. So yeah, I think I'll get maybe. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get the top three things, and it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of food, but I know I can finish it. So the first one is the Shanghai Tong You Dan Mian, then the Wu Chu Cui Tong You Bing, and Lao Beijing Jia Jia Mian. So yeah, I'm gonna order all three. Wow, and it's only thirty one RMB. Only 30 you want to be for these three things? Wow. Mm. I look good in white too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. 
So I almost had it wrong. But yeah, it is a little bit different. Okay, so this is the jajangmyeon, and then this is the banmyeon. For a minute, they kind of looked similar, so I thought they were the same, but then I noticed the meat here. And then the tongyeobing. So that's the jajangmyeon. taken in the restaurant but it's fine it's, you know like I said it's uh, it's expected when you you come here because it's obviously not something that's seen every day first judge on me Jajangmyeon is pretty salty. But every time I've had it, I've not had it with these kind of noodles. This one kind of feels like it has like no flavor. Kind of feels pretty empty. Mm. Mm. Okay, no. Somewhere there's flavor. Let's try the pancake. Mm. Flaky. Flaky and soft. A little savory and I can taste some sort of, well, yeah, some herbs. I like it. I think, yeah, I like these two a lot. This one, the flavor is a lot more subtle. Okay, now I like these noodles a little bit more. Not that it's light, but there's just, it doesn't feel like the whole thing is coated in the, the sauce, and the sauce itself is still quite subtle. But what you can taste is good. Hmm? Uh, 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 <笑>真的好小啊真的好小啊我们开始学广东话我觉得中文已经太难了太难了被你们搞定了你也只是买几年吧嗯但是我还要提高我的词汇我的词汇不多 谢谢真的很标准那我们很多很多就是中国人就是假如像下他们是他们是不会讲普通话嗯讲的就是很不标准的最难的广东人讲的普通话都讲的不标准但是他们嗯但是因为他们已经有他们自己的语言那要学广东
有呃，他们的样子。有炸酱，一个没炸酱。嗯嗯。而且我没看到的炸酱，以前我没看到炸酱，所以我觉得这两个菜是一样的。哦。So this is just a really short part. I wanted to do this when I got home,、um, when it would be quieter. I wouldn't have all of the background noise. But thank you for three hundred thousand subscribers.、Um, YouTube isn't my main job; it's a hobby,、um, and I wasn't expecting it to get to this level. Um, this quickly, so I'm very grateful. I'm very happy that I can make videos and have an audience that will watch it、uh, beyond my family and friends.、Um, so thank you very much. This is honestly amazing,、um, and you know I I'm going to keep recording.、Um, that was the plan in any way, but it's nice to be able to engage with a community and be able to talk to people that are watching my videos and. I guess share more information about myself and you know what I'm doing here, and there are other people that are interested in seeing it. So again, just big thank you. Have a good day, y'all. Y'all look amazing.